Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Natasha Bilozaki from Mart Recipes and More, creative crew member for 2018 for Canvas Core Brands. Today we're going to make a project to the sea and this is the theme for our June challenge over at Canvas Core Brands blog. I have taken two pieces of artboard that measure six by six inches and what I've done so far is that I've punched them with my crop dial and I've put some eyelets because later on I'm gonna bind them together. On the back side of the artboards I have glued pieces of canvas now we're going to decorate the outside of the artboards. I've taken some cheesecloth here. It's got the distressed look I want, as if I found it in a shipwreck, that is. I like to make stories when I'm making a project. I'm gonna tear it even more I like that. Oh gosh, I like that a lot. And I'm gonna put it directly on my artboard and this is graphite texture paste. I'm gonna use it directly over my cheesecloth and that's how we're going to secure the cheesecloth on the artboard. Now, while this is wet, we're going to spray over it with uh, glimmer mists. This is Simply Sheer Matte Mist Watercolor by Tattered Angels and it's uh, pure steel. I'm gonna spray now. Wow, look at that. How interesting is this? And then I'm gonna spray with a glimmer mist and this is one of my favorite colors called Dijon. Look at this miracle. Isn't this amazing? Isn't this wonderful? already so much texture look at that it is gorgeous i love it it's amazing later on we're going to do a lot more on the surface but for now we're gonna let it dry and make the other artboard as well now that we have prepared both our covers, we will let them aside to dry. And in the meantime, we will start making some embellishments, especially for the front cover. And since our theme is the sea, I want to make a cluster and uh, I want the focal point to be an anchor. How am I going to create an anchor since I don't have one? Well, let me show you an easy way to create embellishments. Here I've got a beautiful stencil with uh, anchors. Uh, it's 12 by 12. When you do something like that, don't make just one embellishment, make a lot and you will have them for future projects. This is a piece of cardboard and it's the lid from a pizza box, nothing special. 
Now I'll take my stencil. I will take um, another texture paste. This is a crackle paste and it's gold. Very beautiful. I'm gonna go over my over the anchors, maybe all of them, so I can create many embellishments to have them for a future project. A nice thick layer. And now I've got my anchors. They're so beautiful. And I'm gonna let them aside to dry and give me those beautiful crackles. Now that the paste is dry, we can go ahead and fussy cut our anchors. Now that we've cut our anchor, uh, see here, I don't know if you can see, my crackle paste has chipped off a bit, which I don't mind, of course, because it will only add more texture to my project. But if you want to prevent that from happening, and it uh, happens with the crackle paste mostly, then you go ahead and Apply a coat of soft matte gel over the crackle paste before start cutting it out. Isn't that wonderful? Easy peasy, but very effective. I have created a little cluster here with some of uh, the shells and the anchor. And uh, I found this... Uh, uh, skull which reminds me of uh, the pirate sign the skull and the crossed bones and i will put it here of course it's too shiny right now but i'm gonna give it a coat of black gesso um, and the chain too so it will uh, incorporate in my project here's a little tip for you i have made my cluster now but of course I have more things to put on my cover be before I put my embellishment, so I will have to take everything off. Now, what do I do? I take a picture of my cluster, I print it, and I keep it here next to me. And uh, when I'm done with the, all my layers of paint, of texture, of whatever, then I have this picture and I can set my set up my cluster again in no time first i will apply a couple of layers of high impact paint this is a multi-purpose paint and the this is light gold i will brush it over my graphite uh, paste because i want some uh, brightness here on my surface don't want this so dark we're going to take some 3d gloss gel into the plate we will spray color wash paint on our 3d gloss gel this is patina full finish and it's an excellent color for my C theme okay now we have to incorporate the color into our gloss gel 
this is 3d gloss gel I want it more intense so I'll spray a bit more and now I have a stencil here that uh, has um, a fish uh, scallop design and I'm going I, I will go over this stencil with uh, the 3d gloss and the color wash paint mixture to create some interesting texture on my cover We'll take it a step further. Here I've got some alcohol ink and what I'm going to do now while the gel is still wet, I'm going to let some drops here and there. Look. Now I'm going to let it dry. My cluster is ready and uh, I have also glued some art stones. I will take the black gesso, water it down and go over my art stones here. We also got this uh, Glimmer Glam, it is Caspian Sea color, look how wonderful this color is on top of my background. I'll put some on the art stones too.
okay now it really looks like the bottom of the ocean it's got all those sea colors it's so 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 beautiful now i'll leave it like that it's very very beautiful very i like it so much <laughs> Okay, so let's recap. This is our project ready. Uh, for the covers, I used two artboards. I glued canvas on the inside and on the outside, I used some graphite texture paste and glued some uh, cheesecloth. On top of that, we made a mixture of uh, 3D gloss gel and color wash paint this is patina for finish and run through a fish scallop uh, stencil and while the, th the gloss gel was wet we dropped some alcohol ink we did the same thing on the back cover here i've got a little embellishment i created by myself uh, I took some Fimo uh, cl uh, polymer clay, I stamped on it with my stamp, this is a compass, a little compass stamp, um, and uh, then I sprayed it first with uh, Simply Sheer, and this is pure steel, then with a glimmer mist, and this is Dijon, and on top of that i used some patinas gold and this one which is very light gold it's like an opal gold patina also we dry brushed some high impact paint this is light gold in fact we dry brushed the impact paint the gold paint uh, before uh, stenciling with the fish scallop uh, stencil and the 3D gloss mixture uh, because I didn't have an anchor uh, embellishment I created one myself and uh, by using a stencil with the anchor design and uh, some um, gold crackle texture paste this is a chain from my stash and these are natural uh, seashells that I've been gathering during my uh, summer vacation uh, from um, the beach. Here I hanged some uh, metal embellishments, a little sailboat, a key, a life ring, and I used some um, leather cord for the binding and now let's open it 
Here's the inside. I don't know if you can see some gold lettering. Uh, this is from a cent. This is a, this one I did it with a stencil, a text a stencil, and some uh, gold uh, golden paint. And here we've got a few inserts. I created them with uh, seven gypsies papers. It's from uh, the Ordre du Jour collection. This one is a pocket. You've seen this one before on my video for uh, the weathered wood for the wood grain um, tutorial. The inserts measure five and three quarters by five and three quarters. Because the backside of the paper did not match my, with my project, I printed uh, some pages myself using some Photoshop uh, brushes. This grid is a Photoshop brush. This is another pocket. This paper is the packaging from uh, Seven Gypsies uh, Junk Finds. And on the back side, I've glued the paper I printed, um, and there is room for journaling. It's the same design. I've also stamped some uh, sailing themed images using uh, a teal uh, ink on the last page which is also the packaging from uh, seven gypsies junk finds i glued one of the stickers and also i used uh, um, an encore stamp from my stash and uh, i did some uh, embossing with the um, golden embossing powder. I used the same powder for the script here while on the front side I used the golden paint. On the back side I used, I uh, went over my stencil, my script stencil with uh, Versamark ink and then I used the uh, golden uh, embossing powder and uh, did some embossing and this is my back cover so that's it i really hope you like it thank you for watching bye bye Thank mm -hmm. you.